Let's get at it. I'm Coach Brill. Thank you for tuning in to Fitness for All. I want to take this opportunity to talk about some of the different foods out there that, that have a lot of protein and are lower in the calories. The best place that we found that we could find these foods are the nutritional stores uh, like Sprouts, Whole Foods, Market Street, and, and even Trader Joe's. My wife has found some place there at the health food stores. So if you've got a local one that you like to use, go there and check it out. I'm going to talk about some of the different things that, that we like to eat. However, if you don't like those choices, when you go to the store, stop and ask the people that are working there. They're more than likely going to know what it is you're looking for and where to find it so you can get in and out quicker. So, let's talk about our proteins. Yes, you know, when you're looking at pro... <laughs> Sorry. Proteins. All right, so when you're looking at proteins, as I mentioned, you want to find the foods that are high in protein, but low in the calories. Sometimes it can be hard to find. Head over to the refrigerated section. While you're there, the, one of the best things and kind of getting really popular is the Greek yogurts. There are a lot of different types of Greek yogurts out there. Um, more companies are making them. And you average anywhere from 100 to 140 calories and like 14, 16 grams of protein. And, it, and it's, it's just, it's good. A lot of them are good. We like the Chobani brand. Uh, you pick and choose as you wish. Move down a little bit from there is cottage cheese. I didn't really realize that cottage cheese was a good source of protein. When you're picking on cottage cheese, though, watch out. Get the skim or like the fat-free kind because it'll be fat-free and it'll be less calories. Move down a little bit further, you have your cheeses. Cheese, what another great source of protein, right? Yeah, just pick a few that you like. And off you go. These are great snacks that you can take. A little further than that, down is eggs. Eggs are a great source of protein. We like to use these for our snacks, right? So boil them up and there you go. Our boiled eggs. All right. Next section you want to move to, meats, right? All right. This is what we like to do when we go look at our meats. We tend to go to the deli area and we get it sliced. We try to stay away from the prepackaged one because there's a lot more sodium. Now there's a lot of sodium in the sliced one, but a lot less than the prepackaged. The other thing you do is like just get chicken breast. Cook up, boil up the chicken breast, have that for your snack. Great source of protein. Now the other protein that we have found, um, and we've only seen it at Trader Joe's, is the, the, their sausages, their brand. I'm pretty sure other whole food type stores will have this, but their sausage, for one of those, it was 140 calories and 14 grams of protein. So if you've got a Trader Joe's nearby, go check that out because it was great. It kind of reminded me of another source of protein, beef jerky. <laughs> beef jerky. Now, the problem with beef jerky is it does have a lot of sodium in it. And I found a difference on the beef jerky between the sticks and like the chunk kind is that the sticks tend to have less protein in it. Some of the chunk ones, will, some offer up to 14 grams per serving. So, kind of about a choice and a preference of what you'd like to do. Those are some of the things that we have found that we enjoy eating. I hope that you will come back next week because I'm going to talk about calories and what you can do to help cut out some calories that you don't necessarily need and some secretive things that you could do to help burn some extra calories during the day. I'm Coach Barilla reminding you, to keep on moving.